Hey guys, by popular demand, we are taking a look today at the Trek plugin and connecting it to Smart. So I will spin around here, and we have the Trek plugin running in LV1, and then we have our external computer running Smart. Now, uh, it's very easy to net connect Smart and tracked on the same computer, you just simply open Smart, go up here to Smart, hit the circle, or the arrow with the, the spinning thing, and connect. Everything works great. But if you're running it on an external computer, it's a little bit more involved, but I'll show you what I've got here. We have our Intel Nook with the Ethernet adapter, and that is for SoundGrid. Now we're gonna go here to our network adapter properties, and I will show you here. We go to Properties, and we want to make sure that TCP IPv4 is unchecked. Now, it was checked earlier, and I just unchecked it before I started the video. So that is all good to go. And we can see this is our Surface Ethernet adapter here, and this has the TCP IP4 enabled. So this is basically how it comes out of the box. So nothing special going on. And we have that USB 3 to gigabit ethernet adapter right here, plugging into one of the ethernet ports on the Intel Nook. Everything is plugged into our TP-Link. This is the SG-108 switch. I believe that's the correct model number. Uh, so I've got that for the smart connection and for sound grid. And then over here we have a very inexpensive Signia USB 3 to gigabit ethernet adapter. And we are not running SoundGrid on this laptop at the moment, but uh, we are connecting smart. So all that you basically need to do is once you have TCP IPv4 dis disabled, you'll go up to options, API. So let me do that again so you can see. So we'll go to options. Go down to API, and we want to make sure that there is an IP address showing up. We've already got it enabled, but maybe yours will be disabled by default. And then apply OK. And then go up to Smart, hit the circle button here, and boom, the IP address will show up, and we have the correct, correct port. Uh, so we'll go up to here again, and we can see that the ports match, and the IP address matches. Now, uh, this is stock uh, Windows 10 Professional. There's no modifications uh, to the system, uh, other than like the Avid optimizations and stuff. There's virus and internet security software running, Windows Defenders running on both machines. Uh, so nothing weird is disabled. Wi-Fi is turned on on both machines. Um, so no no issues there. I suspect if you're having some issues, you could probably disable the Wi-Fi. I initially started that way and didn't have any issues. Um, but I mean, here it is connected. Uh, everything is working as it should be. So we are uh, connected. Let's go connect there. And we can see we can pull up our measurements here and everything is working as it should be. Um, so the best thing to do if you have any issues, of course, is to reference your user manual that comes with uh, Tract. Uh, Waves has done a very nice job of making it very easy access. You can go here and see Tract and scroll down and here's the user guide. So it gives you, oops, gives you very detailed instructions um, and then always, as always, you can contact support as well, and they will help you out. So anyway, this is just a quick setup that I hope helps some people uh, get going, because um, it seems to be a common question, uh, connecting the two together. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that is the setup. Um, thanks again, guys. Uh, sorry there hasn't been any recent videos. Um, I've got some stuff planned and uh, look forward to getting that out for you. So anyway, take care guys and I will see you around.